Hi all, Navy Dad back again with you today working on the WK. That's how we say it in Texas, W, kind of like George W. Anyway, WK or Ranch Cherokee built from 2005 to 2010. This particular model is in 2008. And this is a quick fix to kind of show you how to, something, how to fix something that probably irritates the crap out of you if you have one with leather interior and a few miles on it. And that's seat failure. Let me show you. When I'm talking about seat failure, that is what I'm talking about. Here are a few examples for sale right now on our local Craigslist. Notice the creative use of duct tape in one image. Unfortunately, this is a design flaw. Thank you, Chrysler, for screwing it up for us. And it particularly affects the vehicles with leather interior. The cloth seats aren't as susceptible to it because the cloth stretches a little bit more. What happens over a period of time is your fat butt gets in and out of the vehicle kind of cantilevers over this plastic um, side bezel here and eventually it causes the the uh, vinyl of course this is not leather I think that's leather that might be leather or faux leather but this is definitely vinyl so what happens is it cantilevers over and it doesn't stretch as much as it should because of this stupid design and it eventually pulls. This is actually not from wear and tear for your butt going back and forth on this thing. It is actually from this motion right here and it eventually splits and you have this issue. So what to do about it? Well, there's a couple things you can do. You can spend three or four hundred dollars to have that fixed. Uh, I live in the Dallas Fort Worth area and we have lots of car people here and lots and lots of trim shops. The best price I got was $350 to repair this and that's if I brought the seat in disassembled for them. Others were char going to charge anywhere from $450 to 500 bucks, and nobody could guarantee that they could even come close to matching this vinyl. So what do you do? Well, you can start looking for junkyard seat and then you're going to end up with the same problem you have here because over a period of time this foam in here breaks down and makes it even worse. So, I did a little research and I found out this. Okay, before I go any further, uh, ignore the mess in the background. Uh, these are not the droids you're looking for. I work in control chaos, what can I say? Okay, so what we have here is we have a junkyard seat out of a, another 2008 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And you will note, for those savvy people looking, this is actually the passenger side seat. The damage is to our driver's side seat. Well, did a little research and I found out that Chrysler actually did something right in their infinite wisdom. The seat bottom on the Grand Cherokee 08 or 05 through 10 and maybe other Cherokees, uh, other year models, I'm not real sure, but I know this is also true for commanders. It's the same part number. The seat cover and the seat bottom is exactly the same for either side. There is no difference. So, what do you do? you buy the passenger side seat. Or if you find one at a pick and pull or a you save it or those kind of places, you can actually just buy this. But of course, salvage yard that uh, I was able to find this thing at, I had to buy the whole seat. But it was still pretty inexpensive. The whole seat was only $170 as opposed to, you know, 350 bucks to have just this thing replaced. And, you know, then you end up with some extra parts if you need them. But, why get the passenger side seat? Well, two reasons. Obviously, the first reason I said is that on the driver's side, this will start collapsing. So even if you find a good one, it's getting close to its failure point. Not only that, good driver's seat costs more money at the junkyard because those are the seats that fail. So this was like half the price of what the driver's side seat was, which was still in this vehicle, which was still in good shape because this thing only had 80,000 miles on it. So. What do you need to do to remove this? This. That's all you need. Okay, so here's the underside of the seat. And like I say, you can still you can do this with the seat still bolted into the car. You don't have to remove any of the side pieces or anything. It's very simple. All you need to do is use your correct tool. Don't go in there and yank this stuff out because you'll either cut yourself or you know you may need something. Who knows? You want to pry these guys off. Okay, you need three tools. Sorry, forgot about this one. Cut this. Just a zip tie. So 
you got that. You don't have to take that off. Take this guy off. This one. And one more down here. Okay, and then this right here is your heated seat element, so you need to disconnect this. Oh, missed one more. So all together you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you gotta take that guy off to disconnect. Plus, I don't know where that zip tie came from. That may have been there from the factory. I'm not real sure. Okay, next thing, you have two uh, eight millimeter bolts right here. seat out. So you're doing this in the junkyard. None of this is hard to get to. Pop it out. You're in and out of there in five minutes. And again, you know, you may have to buy the whole seat, but it gives you some extra parts, motors, stuff like that. Hmm. Or I have another idea. How about a Jeep Cherokee office chair? Whee! Oh shit. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to remove our damaged seat out of the rig. Okay, excuse me for putting my butt in your face, but here we go. Okay, we've got the cushion out. You'll note that the mounting bolts on the bottom of the cushion are a little bit different rather than the two bolts that go directly from the frame uh, from the frame mount to the, the seat cushion the driver's seat's a little bit different it's got this mount that clips around and bolts into the bottom of the cushion alright next cushion swap okay so here is the one pain in the butt about this uh, uh, swap out here are both seats this is the old driver's seat I just pulled out and that is the new junkyard seat they are exactly the same part numbers are the same everything's the same except for one important fact as I showed you earlier the driver's seat bolts to the rod across here passenger side bolts to that so what we've got here is these are uh, I think they're called nut rivets or threaded rivets and of course they didn't bother to do the other side so I can't screw that in. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and swap over the cushion to the new frame. Now, uh, if you have you know, uh, the uh, nut, nut rivets, I think they're called, um, then just use that and, then, and you're done. Yeah, this is ow, pain in the butt. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> there you go. All right. Here we are with our final touches, snapping it all back together. This part's a lot easier. Taking the damn thing apart. That's pretty freaking shit. I have blood in several places. Anyway. All right. We connect our heated seat. Probably pull that one out because I broke that. Oops. All right. There we have it. Perfectly good new seat. There was something sitting on that. As soon as fat butt gets back in the car, um, that'll go away. All right. Let's put it back in the car. Jeep. Excuse me. Oh, and do take this time to clean all the crumbs and probably under the seat vacuum up the uh, dehydrated french fries that are surely found under your seat. Um, you know, just makes good sense. All right. 
get it all bolted back in and clipped in. All right, all set. There we go. And just comfy. Oh, look at that. That's nice and stiff, too, on this side because nobody ever puts their fat butt on that when it was on the passenger side. All right, pretty cool. Okay, so all done. Like I said, you can do this on Jeep Cherokees from 2005 to 2010. I think you can do them on, uh, do the same thing on uh, Jeep Liberties, but I'm not sure. I don't know those vehicles, never had one. Kind of girl cars, no offense. Uh, and Commanders, Commanders are the same thing. In fact, the front seats in the Commander are basically the same uh, as the uh, as a Cherokee except for they have a slightly different uh, design and pattern. Uh, in fact, their damage happens similar but it happens at the seam instead of on the actual bolster itself. So the seam actually pulls away the way that that one was designed because it uses the same plastic uh, a bezel on the side which does the same damn thing. So anyway, you know up next is uh, maybe an office chair. Want to see how to do that? It's pretty cool. Anyway, Navy Dad out. Till next time. See ya. And as always, this is for my Navy boys, Dylan and Will. Take care. Be safe. See you soon.